Hey guys, Agon Angie or Airgun Angie, whichever you prefer to call me, is fine with backyard shooting. And I've got the FX DRS. This is an absolute sweet, sweet, yet simple air rifle. This one is fun to shoot, but I'm mostly focusing on these pellets. So we have some true competition as far as pellets go. Um, so this video is all about finding out which ones shoot the best in the FX DRS. They're similarly weighted, but different companies. All right, so we have JSB, which um, most people would say hands down are the best pellets out there. Then we have H&N Sport, which are pretty close. Now, it does depend because each air gun shoots each pellet differently. It likes some better than others, so it kind of swip swaps. But then we have some pretty fairly new um, pellets, which come out in the last two years from JTS. Maybe a little bit longer. Please forgive me if I'm wrong, but two to three years. Um, the JTS pellets, those ones seem to be doing really well also. And then I just got some, so I really cannot cannot speak on the AEA pellets yet, whether they're actual competitors of these other three. But these three, they, they hold their own pretty close to one another. So we're gonna see which ones shoot the absolute best in the FX DRS. I've got the 15.89s and the 18.1s. Um, pretty much similar, the, the dead centers, the JTS, I have 16.8, so they're a little bit heavier than the 15s. Not much though. And that's pretty much it. The rest of them are similar, similarly weighted. So I'm gonna start with 15.89s. Um, um, we're gonna do those first. I load my mag. It's a little warm out here today, guys. Center bull on the top target. I honestly don't believe that. I'm going to bring it up a few more clicks and start over with that group. But it might like the heavier pellets better than the lighter, so. All right, let's see where we hit now. Hmm, a little high. Yeah. Yeah, those ones are not shooting great. It may be that they don't like 15s. It may be that we need to stick with the 18s, but we'll find out because I'm just going to move on to the, um, I'm going to go down the line with the 15s. That's what I'm going to do. Um, go ahead and move on to the H&M Sport Barracuda 15s and see how these ones shoot. And if I get the same results, I'm going to say, hmm, must not like lighter pellets. So this gun and the um, FX Outdoors True Ballistics Chronograph came from Utah Air Guns. Thanks, guys. Super, super sweet. Um, if you haven't seen, heard of, or thought about checking out the FX DRS, you really should. It's a sweet. And another cool thing about it is you think FX and you think, oh my gosh, it's going to be super expensive. It's actually one of their least expensive air rifles. So something worth checking out. Ooh. Well, it is kind of loud. <laughs> just, just a little loud. That was actually decent. Um, like I said, guys, just depends. Just depends. Some guns like JSB, some like H&N Sport. That one got an average of 911, so pretty much the same, which we should expect, right? Because they're about the same weight. <laughs> so let's clear that and get ready to let me check the air. Air pressure is fine. We'll shoot one more five shot round group and then we'll top it off. Well, guys, 
I know that's four shots with one going off on its own because it wanted to be a little wild, but that's pretty good. Pretty good. The, it, these ones got an average of 912 feet per second. So those ones are a little bit faster, which is interesting because those ones were a tad bit heavier. How'd that happen? Yeah, let's go ahead and top it off and then we'll get on to the um, AEAs. Not terrible, guys. I kind of want to give the JSB another chance. Like maybe they were the first few shots. Maybe there was something. Maybe the gun needed to burp a little bit, like a baby after it eats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give JSB another shot with the 15.89s. So we're going to see how that goes because, guys, things happen. And if it happens to be this group doesn't do well, then we'll just know that this gun doesn't like the 1589s of those to a new strain. So the average on those ones was 914, so they were even a little faster um, than the other ones. All right, so let's, let's give these ones another chance. I know, guys. Stop hating on them or me. If the other ones did bad, I'd probably give them another, another chance, too. Well, it's just one. If there were several of them, I wouldn't. But since it's just the one, the other one's shot pretty well. All right, here we go. Given the 15, JSB 15's another shot, I'm going to go for the very top right target. And then for the 18s, we'll just, I'll just get a whole new target out. All right, ready? Well, I am so glad I listened to you guys and gave JSB 15s another shot because that was so much better. It must have just needed to wake up a little bit for it to shoot well. So, so far, uh, it's pretty close in competition. I do see a winner though. And I don't believe it's JSB, but I'll take a closer look when I get the, the target back to the table. But we're not going to do that yet. <laughs> Here we go. JSB's first. This time, oh, I gotta change my pellet weight on my chronograph on an, and on the app. And increase to 18.1. It looks like we're gonna get some rain, so I'm gonna need to kind of hustle a little bit. JSB 18.13's very, very first. Hmm. Four, five, eh, not great, not great. 876 feet per second. Great, let's go to the H&M Sports. Ooh, that one was a little high. Right there, that was actually decent. We had one little crazy one, but the rest of them were decent. And the, the average on that was 877. So pretty near, pretty close to the same. JSB, JSB, no, sorry, JTS. What's up with the J's, guys? <laughs> JTS, dead centers. Oh, it does help if you cock the gun. Move the pin out of the way, pellet pusher. All right, I'm just gonna go for that center bottom target. Yeah. Huh. Well, the JTSs are not the favorite in 18s. So, average on that one, 868. 
And I actually really, really think that <laughs> it likes the 15 grain pellets better, though the H&M Sports didn't shoot bad at all. At all. Let's see what these AEAs do. I'm going to shoot that center right target. Mm. Mm. I was getting excited. Well, let me go get my target. All right, so the best ones are, I believe, 15.89's shot um, better than the 18's. We're going to completely discount that center group. Completely. Got it? All right, good. We're on the same page. This one right here. <laughs> We're going to discount that center group. Um, the, uh, what, how did we go? We get JSB, which we discounted that one. No, H&N Sport, which is these ones. JTS, AEA, and the final JSBs. Those are the 15s. So, heh. it's close because, look, the group on the JSBs, it's a little, I think, more spread out than the four shots on the um, JTSs, but the single pellet that went off and wanted to go crazy by itself is closer than the one with the JTSs. So I really think the JSB's got a tighter group on that one. I'm going to measure it out and see what we got. Yeah, I'd say those two tied. We're gonna, that's what we're going to call that. So JTS and JSB. Ah, oh, y'all yeah, are confusing me. <laughs> tied. And then the next best ones, uh, those ones are super close too. Like the, <laughs> the H&N Sport and the AEA. Oh, those are really, really close as well. But I was going to see who come in second. Mm. Uh, we're just going to leave it at the tide. We're not going to talk about second right now. Okay, so then those are the 15s. The 18 grain pellets, there is no question at all. H&N Sport beat out the rest of them for sure. Right here. H&N Sport 18s. Those ones are the best out of the 18 grain pellets. As far as the FX DRS, as far as this gun right here in particular, the one I'm shooting, goes H&N Sport 18 shot the best. The rest of them were. I mean, it is, it's 50 yards. It's not terrible groups. Um, they're not great. That one is. That one's pretty good. So I guess we got three different pellets that shoot great in this gun. Like really great. And they're all from different manufacturers. You got JSB, the 15s, shot the best. And the H&N Sport, the 18s shot the best. The JTS, the 15s, shot the best. AEA, it, it was it was close. It was close with the 15s. The 18s, eh, they didn't do that great, but the 15s did decent. Guys, that's going to finish things up with the FX DRS. Not forever, not forever, just for this session. I just wanted to see. We have some great pellets now, great pellet manufacturers now, and I wanted to see how the FX DRS shot each one of them. Like I said, I haven't had much experience with the AEA. I've got some in the shop. Um, these are brand new. I'll be shooting them some more to find out what I think about them. But so far, um, AEA did okay, but the top three held up. Those, those are the best. Those are the best so far. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you like this kind of stuff, you like the Backyard Shooting channel, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Um, hit the notification button if you want to be notified for upcoming videos. And thank you to Utah Airguns for all this cool stuff, um, as well as the pellet, JSB, JTS, H&N, AEA. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. I know that just Am I supposed to edit all that out? Scratching my nose and all? Like y'all's nose never itches, right? Right. To the right.
to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Now shoot, now shoot, now shoot. All right, shut up.